nothing happens in the physical that did not happen in the spiritual let me tell you he started from the spiritual realm that was where it was better and then it appears to us in the physical and then we see some things and we are like mm, that thing happened yeah but we do not know that it was actually better in the spiritual hey beautiful ambassadors welcome back to the channel it's your girl alicia and i'm back with another lead video for this channel i am so excited you guys are here to watch this video and i am trusting god that this message that you're about to hear is gonna bless you tremendously so we're talking about this is the part two series of a render to caesar's what is caesar's <laughs> render to god what is god series and we were talking about exchanging gospel lyrics into a secular sound which is not good and i am just here to add a few things to what i said in the last video and i cannot continue this video until i thank you guys so much for viewing and sending your comments and your likes and everything i really appreciate you guys the turn up on the last video was amazing and i am trusting god that this also will bless you tremendously and you will share to your friends to subscribe and leave their comments in the comment section no when you're talking about gospel sounds when you're talking about music in general i just want to put this out there that not all sounds are evil not all sounds are evil but you have to be careful as a christian what you take in that's why the bible says guard your heart and you should seek the things that are above and not beneath and the bible also encourages us to listen to things and to do things that are going to edify our souls and are, is going to help our spirit man do not put things into your spirit or into your soul things that are going to damage you or destruct you or draw you away from the presence of god do not do those things do not listen to those things just keep your distance because you know the things of the world it does not come like once and it does not come like a burning furnace that just when when a kerosene is poured into a bush it's just boom at once no it doesn't come that way it comes gradually it comes gradually it just it eats into your soul it eats into your soul and gradually you become addicted and gradually by the time you want to cut except the power of god meets you it's gonna be very difficult especially when you're addicted to secular music it's going to be very difficult to cut away completely from it i'm saying this because i'm saying it's out of experience and i'm telling you that this is what it is so you should take heed and be very careful what you take into your soul so we are going to talk about different sounds in this video and i'm just going to be letting you guys in on a lot of things that i've had experience on and what i have picked from those experiences so there are basically different types of sounds we have inspirational sounds we have gospel sounds we have the worldly sounds those sounds that do not glorify god and the musicians the artists that i doubt if they even know god <laughs> so you know the kind of sound i'm talking about and we have sounds that love musics why am i using sounds <laughs> we have love music inspirational music gospel music and divers i cannot name all of them and we basically have just soundtracks like beats that you keep hearing and different kinds of them and there are some that we use on our channels and we use on platforms that you know that they don't accept copyrighted sounds so those are the sounds that diverse kinds of sounds and yeah I want to let you know that it's not all sounds that are evil and you do not condemn somebody based on the sound the person is listening to except that sound you know that sound is not going to help the person spirit man that is when you're supposed to correct the person in love because i see where sometimes somebody might be listening to an inspirational song who knows that song is motivating the person 
Now, when you are listening to the sound, there are th two things that you really have to pay attention to. The soundtrack and the lyrics. The lyrics is the most important of those things and also the soundtrack and i was talking in my last video that you have to be very careful of the soundtrack too that you listen to because there are some soundtracks that are not nice for the soul you be you think that is just a sound but no if you get what i'm saying i'm not talking about the music now i'm talking about a track like a beat <laughs> if you understand what i mean there are beats that really and if you do not as a christian if you have not gotten the point where you have spiritual discernment let me tell you entering christianity maybe some people might be saying i'm just a christian and or i became a christian just a few days ago it doesn't really matter the even the bible says the first shall be the last and the, the last shall be the first god might reveal things to you that he has not even revealed to somebody that um, has been a christian for how many years or 13 years journey and it doesn't matter and if you are just willing and you open your heart and just seek god that spiritual discernment will be there in short as you became a christian and the holy spirit filled you up just know that god has released something to you and you will have that spiritual discernment. i'm telling you it's you would know if this track is not for good for your spirit man and if this track is good for your spirit man so what i'm saying is be careful the kinds of sounds you listen to be careful the counts kinds of soundtrack you listen to not all sounds or not all musics are evil somebody might be writing a music for his wife somebody might be and that's a love music somebody might be writing a music for his children it does not mean it is bad but 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 <laughs> there is a but there you should be careful still as a christian what kind of lyrics you're putting into that song for your wife because there are some lyrics that do not glorify at all there are some lyrics that when when you put in those lyrics you will not even believe that it's a christian that is, is that wrote this kind this kind of um song so you should also be careful you should ask god to also reveal to you i know you'll be wondering oh it's for my wife and it's the bible says do not be carnally minded even in that writing for your wife you should also have god in mind somewhere yeah you should seek god the bible urges us to love our wife like the way christ loved the church so there must be something there that god will reveal to you to add to those lyrics see as a christian i don't believe in personally i don't believe in having a life different from god because when you say i am a christian when you become a christian you are christ-like everything you do even if you're doing it for somebody you have god in mind even if you're doing it for your children you have god in mind even if you're doing anything for your friend you have god in mind your life completely that's why the bible says surrender all to him your life completely is based on god if you if you don't love your wife the way god is saying love your wife like the way christ loved the church how are you going to be able to um communicate with her how are you going to be able to treat her so there is something there that god wants us to pick love your wife like the way christ loved the church how did christ love the church he sacrificed for his wife sacrifice he gave his life his life was not his own in the sinful nature of his wife he accepted that's the church now we with our sinful nature god accepted us so how will you treat that way do you think that even that lyrics or that song you're writing for your wife god is not supposed to be involved god is supposed to be involved now this is something yeah if god is involved in that lyrics god will guide you on the wordings and everything to put in, in that lyrics you're not just going to be carrying a lyrics from or maybe um things that the word say the words that the word uses in a song or a music to just write down there and maybe you're just doing copy and paste also since it's a love music no even in that writing a song for your wife writing a song for your friend writing a song for whosoever you're writing that song to, to as a christian god should be in your mind god should be the holy spirit should guide you still god the holy spirit should guide you on writing that lyrics that way if you even sing let me tell you something about the spiritual 
there is something that a dynamic or a unique experience or a unique uh, atmosphere that comes with involving god or involving the spiritual into the things you do there's just this dynamic result and this spectacular result you're gonna get and the person that is listening to that song or the person that is listening to that thing or the person that is watching what you are doing as far as you involve god as far as you involve the holy spirit there's something dynamic and the result that comes out of that thing is going to be spectacular because you you seek god and you got that idea you seek god and you got that lyrics for your wife you seek god there's just something that it does the result is always spectacular and splendid i don't know but yeah <laughs> it is it is nothing happens in the physical that did not happen in the spiritual let me tell you it started from the spiritual realm that was where it was bettered and then it appears to us in the physical and then we see some things and we are like mm, that thing happened yeah but we do not know that it was actually better in the spiritual